Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the first official Prehistoric Kingdom video on the channel. Um, this is obviously probably not what you're expecting when you come to the channel, but you're going to start seeing it a lot more often, because uh, this is episode number two of a series I've started with Moral. Uh, this is the Parks and Chigos series, where we are collaborating to build a national park. So, if you have not already seen the first episode it is on Morrill's channel I will link the video and his channel down below in the description and I will also link the video in the upper right hand corner so you can click on it easier so since this is the second episode in the series it would be a good idea to go and watch the first episode on Morrill's channel so that's going to give you the origin of the park um, some of the lore behind the park and the first build that was made. So yeah, if you have any ideas or thoughts, leave them in the comments. Um, besides that, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, make sure to like if you do like it. And yes, leave the comments and maybe subscribe to me or Moral. Either way works. But yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Located roughly 50 kilometers west of Malaga, Resort de Parques Antigos is an icon of Spain's southern coast a home to prehistoric animals brought back from the dead via the latest in advanced genetic science. Although our main attraction is the extinct megafauna who call Parks and Chigos home, the resort has a long and exciting history that we are proud to share. The Iberian coast has been home to people since the Neolithic era. However, interestingly, there have been no evidence of ancient hunter-gatherers living in Parks and Chigos. Scientists posit that the humans of the time simply used more accessible routes further north of the mountain ranges in order to pass through the region. In the late 16th century, Ferdinand Afonso de Faro, a Portuguese man, surveyed and mapped the area. This is the earliest surviving cartographical map of the area. The map was written in his native language of Portuguese, and to celebrate him, locations within the park are still called their original Portuguese names. In 1945, two ecologists named Inez Velasquez and Matias Serrano published a study on the environment within the park, noting the rich yet fragile nature of it. This sparked national interest in the region, and over the next 10 years, popularity of the region would slowly grow. In 1956, the Spanish government faced backlash when they sold land in and around the region to logging companies. The backlash couldn't be ignored, and on May 16, 1957, Parks and Chigos was declared a national park. This seemed to quell the protests, however, the government appeared to have come out on top, as by this time, the demand for logging had already settled. Upon opening, the park had a network of accommodations and guest services that allowed tourists to feel comfort while staying in the park. The summer of 1957 boasted an influx of attendance, and by July, the peak of attendance was already over 3,000. The park was praised for its natural beauty and was heralded as one of Spain's hidden gems. I'm recording. You are? How long have you been recording for? I literally just started after you said you should record this. And then nothing funny happened then because... I know, that's why I said because it wasn't going to happen because you said we are going to record it. You should just record as soon as we start the call. As and then soon as we start this, yeah. yeah. all of it. It would be you every episode saying, where the hell is my save file? That's, yeah, that would be <laughs> good content. Okay. Goofy ass. Oh, wow, look at these uh, Jeeps you put down. Yeah, these are amazing. <laughs> these are some top these tier These are so Jeeps. cool. Honestly, who whatever... Yeah, who made these Jeeps? They need to go on the workshop and there needs to be a YouTube video about these. I wonder where you could find a video. Oh on wow, these. yeah. So if you guys don't know what these jeeps are, uh, these are prehistoric park jeeps patented by Moral underscore, the man I'm recording with, and you can find these jeeps on the Steam Workshop for You're prehistoric. You're gonna sell it on on your own channel to me? Jesus. Oh, dude, I am elite advertisement. Yeah. If you uh, want to, you guys can unsub the error right now and sub me. <laughs> yeah, let's just like all 7,000 right people, now. please unsubscribe from me and subscribe tomorrow. <laughs> Man had built a path. Are you in yet? Yeah, I'm just sitting next to you. Sitting next oh. to my Jeeps. Okay. That's so what do you, you want me to do? Are we going to follow the road down? Oh, yeah, if Should you want to follow the road down, yeah, let's do the same thing we did last time. All right, I'm following the uh, the main road down. I would say delete trees, the trees. Yeah, I was going to say delete the trees eventually, but you can do that on your build because you're going to build an arterial. Maybe. Maybe I'll build a parking lot. You can't have a parking lot without car park. a connector. Oh, yeah, we're in a. We're in Europe. Europe now, so you got to speak God, it in it car park. It's so slow. There's a hole game. in the. Or there's a gap. 
a in gap the road? Ahead? You completely missed a part of the road? I, I haven't got that yet. It's going really slow. I'm so close to the ground, the game doesn't want to move. Bro, hold shift. I'm like, I'm, I'm holding shift. It's really, really slow. Oh, I'm like, at walking above speed. the ground. I'm, yeah. <laughs> this is POV. This is a POV of a man walking down the road. Alright, I'll go higher. Alright. We're zooming now. Are you moving? You're gonna have to cut like 90% of this out because I'm just walking. I'm walking really slow. Oh, I saw something over the horizon. I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm gonna turn where I can't see it. That looked really cool though. Holy crap. Alright, we're at the interchange. We're at the interchange. You went all the way to the interchange. Jesus. You were zooming. Well, you zooming. said follow the road. You said follow the road. Yeah, I said you, I thought you hadn't gotten to the point where you missed a part of the road. <laughs> at the interchange now. Alright. The way well, for you at the, at the uh, white path. Now you're so all the way you there. Here, all right, I'm, I'm at the, the white path. Right, I'm at the interchange. We're moving up to the white path. All right, okay. I'm at the white path. You can literally see it if you look straight ahead now. <laughs> oh, looky there. Holy Jesus. It's not complete. Uh, this is a disclaimer for it's going to yeah. be worked on more. Wow. Should I follow the path now or should I go straight through this clearing? You do whatever you want now. All right, I'm going to go through the clearing here and I'm going to look at this. Look at that. Holy shit. Can I... I can't swear. Watch your too. mouth. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. You got that lawn out. chairs. You got. <laughs> you got lawn chairs, and a little table. Man. Right. It actually took. Those chairs. How many pieces is this? Uh, sixty-two. When I combine everything. But... Sixty-two. The chair or just the whole oh, thing? Oh, the chair itself. Uh, yeah, you said the chairs the were like. Right. The chairs are expensive. Chairs Prefab for the chair itself without the table. 38. Wow. All and right, so I'm everyone coming around. Rooms has one. Jeez. Oh, I'm yeah, there, the there's interiors. Now. You gotta look at some of the interior rooms. I'm gonna. F I'm looking for one. I'm looking at the front of the building now, though. Or the one facing the lake. Yeah. This thing is massive. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. You said it was big. I was like, okay, but this is. Gonna be a lot huge. of stuff done with it. Yeah. I have more ideas. Wow, 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 wow. I'm looking at the pool now. You've got, you've got a uh, deep end, too? Wow. Yeah, it's not quite Olympic size. It's not 50 meters. It's 36, I believe. Yeah, um, is this is this 25 meters? Not regulation size. Have you, me have you measured this pool? And 36. Make sure that a swimmer can swim in it? 36 meters? Yeah, it's nine tiles, and each tile is four meters. Mm, okay. What is this here beside it? It looks like a... This is a bar that I haven't, yeah. I haven't built in yet. All right, all right. I like it. I like it. I like the concept at least. Yeah, I like rooftop bars. So, do you go to them often? No. Oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> why I like them. That's why you like them. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm looking at the bottom now. I'm seeing some windows with some things inside, and I am looking. Oh, at I forgot. I closed building. off the inside of the lobby with the whole wall. So, <laughs> if you want to, if you go inside the like the big middle section. Mm -hmm. That's where the lobby is. Do you want me to look at the lobby first or the rooms? Do whatever you want first. All right, I'm looking into in the room. So. All right, which room? Uh, they're all the same, aren't they? That is correct. Okay, I'm at the like I'm at the very bottom, but I mean either whichever. Yeah, ones. they're basically the same. I used a lot of yeah. fake rooms because obviously I'd have like three million pieces on it if yeah. I didn't. Oh, I'm looking in here now. I'm looking. At, look at these beds. Wow. The, Bro, how did you make these, <laughs> these pillows? Holy crap. Yeah, this took forever. Jeez, look at those pillows. I want to know what these are made of. A lot of patience. I've got some, like, dinosaur figurines on, like, everything. You got a mammoth in the middle. Look at this TV. You're, like, insane. Look at these, look at these drawers. Oh, I went to town on the, uh, shelving and stuff. Yeah, and those are, there's your, uh, thermostat. Oh yeah, I should uh, oh. check out the thermostat. Where's That's the numbers? Insane. Uh, the numbers aren't showing up for me. They're like inverted. Yeah, you gotta look in like... the other one. Uh, go oh, to the room the on the one. other side where it's actually not inverted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, seventy-two. That's really warm. I would hate to live there. Not that it needs warm. to be like sixty. It needs to be like sixty-eight degrees. That if I was no at this shot. hotel, if I was at this hotel, it'd have to be really cold. Oh, you'd be changing it. Yeah, I'd be changing it. All right, look at the look in now at the table and do they, even the table or the uh, chairs. Look at that. That also took a out. while. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forever. Wow, look at that. And then it, the uh, mural. 
Yeah, if you checked how much uh, playtime the save file has now, it's at like 2.2 days. Oh, and most really? of it is spent Jeez. on building beds in this room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look at the... Um, I like the mural. You showed Thank me that you. already. Yeah, which is unfair. But... It's uh... not quite realistic to Hell Creek. They didn't really have oak trees, nor did they have snow-capped mountains. But Yeah. I had to make... Uh, took some I mean... artistic liberties there. Yeah. I see, I see. Uh... Normally the hotels I go to, they have like really weird pictures on the wall that make you think you're like, <laughs> you know, in a psychotic room. That's you're why in, I like, had to theme it room. so that people, yeah. Didn't, yeah, people didn't think you're in a mental ward. Yeah, a mental ward. That's what I normally see in hotels. But this is a fancy hotel. Maybe they don't have that there. Okay, look at. I'm looking at the um the drawers too. That looks like it took a while. The closet. Yeah. Yes. That. I also had lights in there because I used a reference with lights, but mm -hmm. uh, if I had so many lights in the building, it would kill itself. So. Uh, yeah. All right. Is there a bathroom? Did you... There is a bathroom. I have the door closed to it. So. Uh oh. A bathroom. Wow. Okay. Is there someone in here? Should Not I currently. You should knock, knock first should there just knock? to make sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, what if I just delete the door? That'll work too. You might do that actually so that you don't have to, you have more space to see. Yeah, ooh, look at, is this, wow, I'm looking at the tile, I was like, is this, like, uh, handmade, or is this the, uh, no, absolutely I, was not. Say, I was about to say, look at the shower, this is a tall shower, I will say that. Yeah, if it's a walk-in shower. Uh, well, yeah, most showers, I would assume, are walk-in showers. Oh, no, I meant, like, a not-tub one. Huh. Oh yeah, okay. I hate these showers. I wasn't. I wouldn't want to be here. Oh, you don't like you water walking showers? Everywhere. Oh. Yeah, you get water everywhere. That's fair. But oh, I, I mean, to put in the, for the rich people, one in the sky. Yeah. So though, I meant to put in. If you look above the mm -hmm. shower, um, and these kind of showers, some of the really nice ones have. It's just the, like a square, and the water comes out of it like that. Yeah. And so I don't like those showers either, but that's what the kind of showers are in these kind of places. Well, right now there is no like water coming from anywhere. They're just getting in and nope. Yeah, you just stand there. With soap. <laughs> Put some soap on. You're good to go. That is how it's working. Look at this toilet too, and the uh, sink. The sink looks really nice. I like that. I couldn't. Yeah, I told you I couldn't make anything marble, so I had to use. Um, yeah, I'm seeing this. It. It'd be really nice to have some marble like pieces. Yeah, I know. And the light or the mirror used to have lights around it. It was used to have like a a rectangle light, but that mm -hmm. also would have hurt the performance. Ah, uh, I see, I see. How many? You said there was like 16 of these, didn't you? In the current form of the hotel, yeah. 16 like actual rooms One, two, three, that three, you can look four. in and aren't Yeah, facades. 16 as of right now. Wow. I like it. All right. I'm just, this is huge, jeez. It is, so the reference picture I used, I could probably just throw it in the video at this point. Um, it was kind of like the same idea. I was originally going to go for, I'll show another reference picture too. Um, have you ever been to Fort Lauderdale? I don't even know where that is. I'm okay. straight with you. <laughs> Fort Lauderdale's in Florida. Um, one of uh, the first hotels you're going to see coming up on uh, A1A north on Las Olas Beach is there's like a tiered hotel so it's mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of like like rice patties to keep it simple but with hotel rooms yeah and so that was originally the plan but it like wasn't super feasible with the current building mechanics we have mm -hmm. and I didn't really like how it was looking as I was progressing so I just like we're gonna completely scrap it and we're gonna go with the dual towers method yeah and so that's where we're at now yeah i mean it's really nice i like this and it's not i'm looking <laughs> yeah this is so nice i've never stayed at a hotel that is this, this, this nice when you go into the lobby um you'll see oh, other touches of hotels i've been at okay all right so which side am i going in it doesn't matter they both go to the same place all right. All right, I'm entering now. I'm seeing, ooh. Okay, I'm looking at this uh, waterfall piece. So this wow. is inspired by the Grand Hyatt in New York City, which connects mm -hmm. to the Grand Central Station. Um, when you walk into there, 
they have a waterfall that says uh, Grand Hyatt right on the side, right mm-hmm. on the wall. And so it's kind of the same theme as this. I kind of went for, um, they have very high ceilings. And mm-hmm. if you walk up to the platform, I was going to put a restaurant or some like food stuff up here. And also just, it's weird to show or it's not, it's weird to explain how it looks in there without yeah. seeing it. So I don't know how to tell you about it, but um, that's going to be a seating area. I think like the, concierge desk is going to be i don't know i could i don't know if i want to put it up high or if i want to put it in front of the waterfall but yeah that's that will this all is come nice. soon it's not finished obviously but it looks really nice i'm liking it i'm looking in the uh the, at the like lily pads and stuff and everything yeah. <laughs> i wanted to throw bamboo in there just to fit the aesthetic yeah, I'm looking too at the doors of the entrance here. I'm coming back outside now. I also use another reference for that. Um, a really cool place. I like that. So that'll get some work done. So I was thinking about how the plaza is going to work. How are you getting to this hotel? Because are people going to be able to drive up to it? Or they have to get on a shuttle and have the shuttle drop them off? I would assume a shuttle. We're not having really any cars coming That's in. That's what I was our... thinking. Yeah. So then that changes how we're going to do the front of the hotel plaza. Yeah. Park. And then... Where you were going to put a flagpole before? Is this like... What is this bar in the front? That's my meter stick. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, every good builder has a meter stick. Yeah, this is my yardage. Or meters, even. Because we're yeah. in Europe. Um... If you go, like, the connectors, I was going to have, in between the connectors, I was going to have, like, little courtyards Mm -hmm. with grass and fountains and stuff on both sides. Yeah. And then, I don't know what I was going to do with the back of the building. Haven't thought out that yet. Mm Mm-hmm. But we have so much space behind it. I don't know how we were going to do stuff behind, but... Yeah. figure that out. I mean, that's next week use problem when you get back to the build <laughs> oh, yeah. or maybe you in the future a year from now or something i don't know whenever you decide you want to complete this hotel yeah no or i'm probably gonna just gonna grind it out next time it's my turn what mm. is this what happened why is there glass sticking out what happened to this yeah i was looking i was like huh what i is didn't this? this never is this some new like piece of the building you're adding on where's the lore behind <laughs> this piece of glass I have no idea what that piece of glass was. Um, I'll re-update the save. I mean, it's one piece of glass. I can delete it. No, that's part of that. That's the pool glass. I don't know uh, why it's so long. I didn't... That wasn't there when... I mean, I could fix that. It's not going to be like... You don't need to move one piece of glass for me on the save. I mean, <laughs> I'm not just, incompetent. I may act like it. Just shrink it a little bit yeah. and make it to the size of the pool. But... Yeah. Um, Yeah. The rooftop uh, terrace, I'm going to mm-hmm. put like trees and stuff up here. And yeah. this is the this is the place where you come to, this is a vibe. Yeah. This is where people stay and they just don't care about the dinosaurs. Right. Yeah. Who, nobody comes. This is where mom and dad go after dinosaur. the uh, kids have had a long day of looking at <laughs> triceratops all day. They need a little relaxation. Right. Sit in the pool and drink mimosas. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. Kids can sit in the room. Yeah. I'm looking at the view too. Like. I feel like we should really preserve this sight line of like looking out over the water. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this would be really nice. You're sitting here by the bar. You're just, you look out, you can see the whole lake and you can see whatever we're going to build in front of it too. Right. And that's why I wanted to make sure there were balconies in the front. I guess they're on, they're on us on all sides even, but um, Mm -hmm. I just needed to make sure that this side, the front side had, guaranteed views yeah this is a uh this has been really good i like this it's given me a lot of it's uh what am i, what am I thinking of what if... it's given me a good idea of how the area is going to shape out i guess okay good because then when you start doing that then i can think of how i'm yeah. gonna keep building more stuff i think yeah i or mean disney spring or uh, yeah just disney in general yeah vibes might 
I might push your build back a little bit though. It's a little close. I don't know. That's what I was thinking. That's why I asked you earlier how much that's. So I boxed off about a bunch of space with all that mm -hmm. uh, dirt, but I wouldn't know how close you wanted to get to the white path. Yeah, I think it's honestly probably a little further back too. I mean, we want a lot of cool stuff in here, right? Yeah. So okay. So which side are we gonna have the beach club on? The rock side, or is this just gonna be the rock side gonna be? Just like a a picture spot, and the beach club's gonna be on the other side. The beach club's on the other side. That's what I thought. Okay, other, so yeah, the other beach. We can definitely area. back this thing up. Yeah. Who's gonna build the beach club? <laughs> I mean, we can do a, like we can Let's separate split the tasks. The, yeah. We can split. We're yeah. gonna have multiple different buildings, different types uh, yeah. of buildings for people to choose. Yeah, it's going to be like its whole own thing. I'm excited for the beach club. I didn't say yeah. in the other video that I was going to rebuild the helicopter, but I'm going to change the helicopter. As much as I yeah. enjoy having a war helicopter as the transportation, um, yeah, probably isn't ideal. You get around to changing the uh, helipad? You said you were going to put lights on it. Did you ever get around to that, or was it nope, so much work yet. doing this giant hotel? Okay. <laughs> I didn't think Makes about sense. I mean, you... You have a giant hotel you've just built. I mean, are you burnt out any? You've Not at all. Spot. I just want to keep building. Yeah. It and was more wait, stressful, like, like, if anything. Yeah. I want it to be point. perfect. Yeah, I know. I've been dying to, like, build. I'm just, <laughs> I get cravings. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta build something. You've been cheating by doing your own prefabs. Well, yeah, but they're not. I didn't build, like, an entire, like, city. I built, like, props. That is fair. You can I do the same if you want to. I mean, that's what I was doing. I was, I have like a specific car save, just mm -hmm. for that. I was trying to build the helicopters and the G wagon on. Yeah. That G wagon that'll never finish because it's very hard. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna upload all these like props to the workshop? Oh, the, now uh, I can because props? yeah, you've yeah, because I'm not it. gonna see them. Yeah. What, were you waiting for the yeah. time that you could do that? You're like, I wish I could upload the right. Upload yeah, these I've been right sitting now on it some... for the last week. You got. I'm going to look like in an hour and there's going to be a bed, a drawer, a TV, uh, cabinets. I, look at this little lamp. I didn't even. Oh, yeah. I made a few lamps. Yeah. Like, I didn't even notice that. Wow. You went all out. I will say it's very, very nice. I wish I put things in the drawers, but nobody Dude, would, that would ever notice. <laughs> it's already 61,000 pieces. I mean, you're good. You can take a break, man. Yeah. We're out of, we're out of space. Yeah. How's your how's your frame rates doing right now? It's fine. It's only when you oh, start okay. moving the big building, like if you select everything mm -hmm. to try to move it, that it kind of starts to. Oh yeah. Commit die. I don't know if it does for you, but. Yeah. I mean, you want me to move it right now and see? Yeah, just test it out and see if it crashes your game. Uh, I went down to four for a second, and we're back. We're good. Four. That was. <laughs> yeah. It was for like, a second. Yeah. Not the worst. But yeah. This is really good. This gave me a lot of inspiration for what's next. Honestly, I was thinking like in my head I was thinking you're gonna have like one of these like towers and then you have like it and then a second and then a middle part. Like jeez. See I didn't want to go with the basic formula of build a tower. Yeah. Cause everybody's been to a hotel like that. They're boring. Mm -hmm. Even though this is the same thing but two of them. You yeah. also get the rooftop terrace. Mm hmm And hedges. Yeah. Um So you're gonna put an elevator in the middle part because so far it looks like people have to walk all the way around to get to the <laughs> top. Yeah. <laughs> probably gonna stick an elevator. I was that's why I was mad that nobody had an elevator prefab going. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna happen. Um so it seems like if I was a guest right now, I'd be walking into the building. I would have to walk all the way up these stairs. And have, then I would have to go into Take a this right, other right. tower. Go up, uh, assumedly, a, uh elevator. And then, which hasn't been built because obviously it's, it would take way too long to interior the whole thing. And then you come across another bridge, back across. And now you're there. You could take eight flights of stairs to get there mm -hmm. also. but I mean, if you want some calves, yeah. Yeah, but not my style. I'm I'm just I'm gonna look and see like how how this is to scale because 
I'm a little worried. It's, it looks pretty big. It, sh it might be fine, but I'm just going to judge your work real quick, silently. <laughs> Which scale? Uh, I'm looking at the bar right now. It looks a little... It might be a little big, honestly. I'm looking at my bar buddy that I just have that's the size of a human. Roof Coming up to is about... huge. Yeah. I it might need be... I, I mean, scale... It might need to be scaled down a little bit, but... I mean, that's not a struggle. The bar itself... The internet mm -hmm. says the standard bar height is 42 inches to 46 inches, which comes out to 1.06 to 1.16 meters. And that is about what I scaled the counter mm -hmm. to. I just made the roof titanic yeah so that yeah. might need to come lower a little bit but yeah it's a good build i think it might need to be scaled up we might you can go back and like scale it or if you want me to like touch your builds and i can spend my week scaling yours and we'll come back and we'll see the hotel again <laughs> figure you out what you want to scale down on that yeah, yeah. no next week we're going to see the same thing it's going to be a different scale it'll be a little smaller it'll be slightly smaller yeah, so here's uh, here's my uh, my beach uh, not my beach <laughs> my uh, my poolside bar that I've just scaled. But yeah, is there anything else you've done, or have we seen everything so far? That is literally everything because not, that's not all to I say that you're like it's time. underwhelming. No, that's all, it's all I spent my time like, on. This is all you built? Wow, a week! Wow, you imagine. only built a hotel? Because <laughs> I spent it all building a room. Yeah. I cannot wait for you to feel the agony of not being able to build in the park for a week. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to go build a separate file. Build yeah. on a separate file. That's going to suck. Yeah. I feel like my next week, I'm probably going to not have anything super, like, centralized. There's going to be a lot of stuff all over the park. So you're going to have to be... You'll be going around a lot. That's what I was thinking about. I was like, did I focus way too much on one hotel? And nah, not nah. build a helicopter. When nah, I, I think to it's build good. A it's just I'm not gonna build anything to this scale. I don't think I'm gonna uh, probably build a few smaller things that we kind of need, like right. infrastructure-wise. The, there actually aren't many helipads with lights on them, except for ones that are like in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Oh and wait, I'm looking need... right now. Do you did you add the Spanish flag to my villa? Oh yeah, I just didn't put the logo in it yet, or the uh, little crest. Yeah, but I did stick the, the flag colors there. I like it. I like it. I don't like where it's placed. My vision for my villa—you've placed it on the it side. It really did. I really did stick it right in the middle, <laughs> <laughs> and it obscures the lake view. Yeah, I'm that looking. Um, not where I would usually put it. Yeah, I'm looking at the view of the hotel. It is massive from over here. Yeah. Have you ever I been mean, to a hotel that big? No. They're huge. Unnecessarily huge. The biggest hotel I've been to is, uh, you know those two-story ones? A motel? <laughs> nah. <laughs> but not, I've been to bigger ones. Yeah. But they don't really have these here. They don't have huge ones. There's nothing to do here. No one's staying. Not that many people, at least. Yeah, I was going to say, who's going to vacation where you live? <laughs> Well, you gotta go to Florida and get some inspiration. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking, like, people are coming down this helicopter, and you're looking over, and you're seeing this big, nice hotel, and then you're gonna say, ew, poor people, and you're gonna go to the beach club. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to stay at a hotel if you have the money to come here? Yeah. Beach club. Oh, you only make $2,000 a day? Yeah. Can't All afford right. to spend the beach club it's money. I kind of want to like lay out some roads and figure out how we're actually going to do all this infrastructure. Yeah, I want to see what you do with the roads. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I want to see what Maybe, you No do dinosaurs yet. <laughs> no, no. There will not be dinosaurs until like episode 10. Oh, you think there are going to be dinosaurs? No, 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 no. This is, uh, this is City Skylines 2. Yeah, this is now we're just building a city. Yeah. We need to the put city of water Park pipes Santiago's. under... The roads, Under the roads obviously. Yeah, where they belong. Um, they don't belong anywhere else. Yeah, they cannot go anywhere else. Make sure everyone has electricity. Yeah. I mean, it's good that we didn't... None yet. Didn't There's no light. Right. <laughs> yeah. Every, when it goes to Our nighttime, systems. it is... Uh, Actually, let me see. 
I think did I put lights on mine? I don't remember. I did put a couple. You put okay. some lamps, not four. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need. Well, it looks better at night than yours. How many do you have, Mister Wise Guy? Currently zero, as it should be. <laughs> oh yeah. It would lag. It would crash your computer. I do want to scale it down. This thing is massive. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking like it's a little big. It's nice, it's nice though, don't get me wrong. Titanic. I'm gonna build, you know I'll build, I'll build the roof of your thing, cause you just have a flat top. You'll I'm lag, gonna put like, HVAC. Yeah, I was gonna be like, uh, that's not worth my time right now. <laughs> it's always worth your time. We're trying to build the most realistic city in prehistoric kingdom. <laughs> yes. 15 by 12. Uh, that's massive. Jeez. It's, both towers are 15 by... That's 14. 15 by 12 is 180, and then multiply that by 3.3, and then multiply... Jesus, it's titan... It's enormous. What's, what's it coming out to? For each of these... Oh, crap, I just closed my calculator. <laughs> Okay, thanks for that. It is 180 of these blocks, mm -hmm. uh, just area size wise, and each of those blocks is four meters by four meters. <laughs> so it's enormous. Yeah. Uh, where's the time? 16. Oh, 2,880 square meters. <laughs> wow. That's a square kilometer it's way too big yeah <laughs> Jeez. I, I mean there are hotels that big just yeah i don't not know in front of a dinosaur park mm -mm. what are there dinosaur parks in real life can you really be the judge of that that is true what if we're pioneering hotel sizes i mean for... this is probably what hotel sizes would have to be everybody wants to see the dinosaurs they're not very tall it's only mm -hmm. like 20 floors or something Fourteen floors. Yeah, I didn't even account for volume. This thing is huge. We'll shrink it. Probably could just like yeah. squeeze it a little bit. You have like a whole extra floor on the bottom. What's this gonna be? On the bottom of the towers? Oh, that was just that's nothing. You have extra room. I really you. didn't want I was thinking about making another an, an interior for the hotel itself. And mm -hmm. once I saw how much it started lagging, I was like, uh, yeah, we're not doing that. We don't have the uh, capacity. You do not have the facilities for that. What if I, like, disrespect you and I go in and put, extra, like, new TVs and stuff? <laughs> go right ahead. Have fun <laughs> have, like, trying to <laughs> fix it. No, I'm just going to use the ones off the workshop. Dude, mine's definitely new better. This one has an Xbox. Add I don't it. know if it's better. Add it. <laughs> People come to a dinosaur park to play they Xbox. They come for the dinosaur Wi-Fi. Yeah. The Wi-Fi is great here. Do people actually have an Xbox? Because I will uh, update it. Is it the TV and table one? Yeah. Mrs. T-Rex? Yep. Really good. Excellent builder. See, that comes with the, t the TV stand. I don't like that mm -hmm. little TV stand. That's why I built the dresser, which serves us both. It's dark out. Yeah. There we go. All right, I'm interested to see what you do with the roads. That will be a good time. Yeah, that'll be fun. This man's really gonna try to build a road from this part of the park, this part of the map, all the way. What was the interchange? Did you decide on a roundabout? Yeah, a roundabout, probably. Roundabouts, probably. In. Yeah, Europeans love roundabouts. Yeah. Uh, no disrespect to any Europeans. Americans just can't comprehend roundabouts. We um, we get on them when our brain just stops. We just like drive straight off the roundabout. We go straight. Dude, I was in a roundabout today, and some dude was flying at me in a BMW, and I had to slam the brakes because I thought he was gonna go through. But he slammed the brakes too. 
See, that's exactly my point. People, we just don't know what to do. Americans lack the capacity mentally. Unless it's NASCAR, we can't go in a circle. <laughs> a NASCAR is probably hard for some people to understand, too. Yeah, it's really hard to understand. I actually don't know how it works, but... Yeah, I just... I don't know how the cars go and stuff, and, like, it's a circle. Like, I'm so confused when I watch it. I'm gonna assume it's just how many laps you can do it, and you just do it first. So I guess it's kind of like F1, but F1 has yeah. corners. So, that's just not the same. God, I keep coming back to your villa, and you put so much vegetation here. Clutch. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this could be a solid build if our computers don't blow up from all the... You're just gonna blow up first, man. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna. Buy, I gotta buy a 3080 or something. Yeah. Or just stop building so insanely. Dude, I just can't. You didn't can't. have to go so ham. You didn't have I to go so ham on this. Can't not. Next is gonna be the jet. Oh. I'm kidding. We don't have room for a jet. Cause we don't have room Airstrip. for an airport. Yeah. I mean, if we. I think if we cut some dinosaurs. We have yeah. Room. If we just don't have dinosaurs, I could build an airport on the right side of the map. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, like right here. I'm looking at like behind the beach club. This, no, I'm looking. I'm looking behind the mountains, like on the opposite side of the mountains. Oh, you're going like all nice the way over flat here. Land. All right. Yeah, nice flat little land here. You could put one all it the way from. It is really one hard to land and take off right here, but I respect it. I don't know anything about flying planes. <laughs> Seeing as how airports just, are like the entire the size of the entire map. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know how to drive a plane. That's not what they say, but yeah. Yeah, I can't use the steering wheel on a plane, honestly. <laughs> it's pretty simple, gonna be honest. <laughs> um, yeah. They, you just turn the engine on, they start flapping their wings, they exactly. fly away. There is nothing more simple than flying a plane. I mean, yeah, honestly. I mean, Helen Keller did it. Did you know that? That is true. If Helen Keller can do it, I can do it. Right. That's crazy. I don't monetize my videos. I'm not, I don't have 7,000 subs. You only need 1,000? I don't have a thousand. Are you at 300 yet? I have no clue. We're gonna check. No, because it's gonna be disappointing. 294. Ah. Uh. Which prompts me to say, after we finish this video, uh, please like and subscribe this one, but then head over to Moral's channel and maybe hit him with a subscribe and watch the first episode of Parks and Chigos, which came out six days ago, which will be nine days when this video comes out but i had to shell it out you aren't gonna you aren't gonna you're on the post as soon as we finish here it's not going up tonight <laughs> yeah let me just cut everything about immediately edit everything in i probably could honestly i don't really want to go to sleep yeah uh, i'll just build a helicopter say, i mean you say it completely differently you, you use the portuguese i use the spanish you say yeah. parks and tigos i say parques and tigos parques and tigos <laughs> I mean, I gotta respect the Portuguese heritage. Well, yeah, but we're in Spain. I feel like they'd just be like, okay, we spell it the way they spell it, but we're gonna say it Spanish. We're gonna have to decide because People our videos are gonna like, be What the hell is this? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm looking for this uh, Park, Park San Chigos on this guy's channel. All he has is Park S. Antigo. It's like, what? <laughs> Where's yeah. the purchase of Park San Chigos? Is he Chigos? lying to us? What is this? He's, there's no episode one. <laughs> oh, I hope that I didn't actually. A problem people can encounter. Yeah. Oh but no. That would be really bad. Do you want me to outro your video? Yeah, since I outroed your video, go ahead and try to outro mine. Um. Shoot, I need some outro music. Oh, can you throw my outro music? <laughs> I'll throw in the moral direct outro the, music. Yeah, can you go ahead and throw that in for me? Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I, can't remember, I don't even know how to do it without the music. I just have to listen to the music to remember. It's There's like, no way you actually record your outro with the music on. I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh all God. right guys and that's gonna do it for today guys i want to thank everyone very much for watching please like subscribe and comment and i will catch you guys on the next one goodbye except that but with your name what do you mean and that's a wrap